Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 150. Sounds like a lot, especially if there it's every two weeks, but we were doing it a lot in the beginning, trying to get through our backlog. Anyway, it's June, early June in 2018. Let's go ahead and talk about our agenda. It's going to be another short-ish meeting, although it looks like we could have a number of issues to talk about, although maybe they won't take us that long to talk about them. We'll see. Uh, and then we'll always do the questions and comments and things that other people want to talk about. As always, this meeting is being recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now, listening. Bob, you ready? Eventually, yes. Yeah, all right, eventually. Okay, whatever. All right. Light fails with error about not finding a directory. Yes, and this was like, theory was that WSL was getting in the way. Hmm. Ah. The difference between them is that both machines where the problem occurs have... WSL installed. But merely oh. installed. That's odd, right? That's a little odd. Um, and, you know, I've run Wix on a regular basis on Windows 18.03, so um, it's not that part. But I do not have WSL installed because, well, that's just silly, I think. Um, um, oh, Windows yeah. subsystem for Linux or whatever? I think, Windows, yeah, I think it's like subsystem. That. Yeah. Whatever it is. It's the Linux thing. Um, odd that that would change the behavior. Well, the reason I don't have it running, apart from the fact that I'd rather, you know, native boot Linux when I need it, is that, you know, it's it's doing low-level stuff, you know, in terms of, of drivers that it installs and whatnot to, to map Linux system calls onto, I'm guessing, 132, although maybe it's NT kernel, I don't know. Um, so it's not, you know, completely outside the realm of possibility. I'd expect to have heard about this if it were a general thing. Um, but yeah, I got I got nothing. Cool. So someone that wants to deal with WSL can look at this. I think we thank you for this level of detail and say, cool, somebody that is running W you know, we're not running WSL and someone that is. I mean I'm not running Windows ten right now, which I know is crazy, but so this would be not a at all crazy. Like that. Um so yeah, cool. It sounds like he's narrowed it down to What's going on here? Yeah, it's a fair... Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sample cab. I don't know if he actually provided example code. No. No, no, no. Anyway. All right. Well, someone with Windows 10 WSL is going to have to look at this. Um, so I guess we toss it in Wix 4 and see if it'll... What will happen there? Or do we... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wix 4 is on .NET Core. It might not have this problem. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. Sure. Jacob uh, said he... So, um, are you willing to take this bug, Jacob, then? Because if we give it to you, then you know you can poke at it with a stick. All right. Cool. So how about we give it to Jacob to say he'll try to get a repro, or he'll sure. he'll try it out um, and ask if this guy can give him a sample code that reproduces it, or you know what is necessary to reproduce it. If it's complicated, or if any simple package will do this. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I'd I'd start with the hey, look at a simple thing, you know, a template Visual Studio project well, works I mean, just fine. Yeah, well, can you build Wix? <laughs> right. Should be that simple. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, building Wix ought to be enough of a challenge, huh? Hey, the screen reader stuff. Did this really come in the last two weeks? Um, Twenty-one no. days. No, this is yeah, no, it came. It, it was uh, my mistake. I tagged it as oh, more info. More info, and it dropped off. And I realized that that drops off the the triage list. However, we have not received the requested more information, um, so I don't. I don't know what to do with these. Uh, screen reader they're, things? Well, they're, they're screen reader things, but of course 
you know, the repro steps are designed. The repro steps come from, you know, internal bug reports that assume you're looking at the thing. And I'm like, I, yeah, navigate the know. run button appearing in the window. What is this? Yeah, exactly. Um, and and I just, you know, no, no, I, I we need more information. Tell me why. Uh, they say it's it a is. Welcome dialogue. But that's going to be inside the Windows installer. Okay. Well, it, which, yeah, again, it's like they're, they're talking about, you know, this is this is the new Windows 10, some of the new Windows 10 accessibility stuff. Ah. I'm like, there, we, we, we followed the rules, I believe, for accessibility back in... <laughs> I, I don't want to finish that sentence because it's more than ten years ago. Um, yeah, so so we should have everything in there that that you know MSI UI supports. Um, there there are some exceptions, like um, one of these bugs talks about. Um, well, sorry the the challenge is in uh, areas where you can't or where you have to follow a specific pattern to okay. you know, to, to do accessibility. It, we don't generate the UI. Well, it's, no. They don't know what they're talking about. This no, is this don't. is someone this is someone have who has an internal bug and is just trying to get it over to Wix. And the fact that they haven't come back with requested details means that I don't think they care. I think we push this back on them saying the one installer generates this UI. Because it's all native UI. And that well, it, it is. But again, it, the question they, is how much of it is under control of the Wix UI library. And that if they want us to look at this, they need to provide us more information about actually what is. Going okay. On. That's kind of what I did. Should we just close these, or do we want to let them hang out? No. You should just make them go away. I mean, okay. Uh, that's, especially yeah, since yeah. I, this is a, they need to take this to one that's a staller, I think. Right, and be like, probably, probably, and 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 for me, it's the question is, you know, how many of these things are stock? How many of these things have they customized? You know, questions that you would ask if they provide more information. Yeah, now this may be us if we're setting the color, but we used to set the color to just enough or whatever to get it to flip or not flip or whatever it was. I thought, like we made it just enough gray or black. That text mode is not available visible on welcome screen in high contrast black moon. Then that like where the text will flip from black to white, and I thought we did enough so that the text would stay black because it's like on a white bitmap or something like that. But again, I think yeah, let's get a screenshot and just have them send it back to us. Yeah, a screenshot would do the trick. Uh, cannot. Install Wix container duplicate of this. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, as known, add on bundle gets uninstalled during upgrade of main bundle. Okay. And they've already found that this is related to a couple of the bugs. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. I remember those. Those are ancient discussions with the Visual Studio team about all the complexity that they added in all of our repair logic and stuff like that, and that there should be more control over it. And yeah, someone needs to go work on that because it's not going to be easy. Windows Embedded Standard 7. Wow. That's interesting. So, sorry. Uh, dupe, I think, that to either of those bugs? Uh, wasn't clear to me which one it really applied to. Source Forge? 
Oh yeah, I remember that? Wow. <sighs> Probably this one. This sounds, yeah. Yep. Yep. I agree. It's probably that older book. Error when adding project reference. Oh. <laughs> okay. User failure. Oh, Wix for null reference. Okay. Uh, you can toss this at me. I've been refactoring this code. And we'll look at it at some point. But yeah, it's probably something straightforward. Auto assign, but yeah, that that code's under refactoring, so yeah, okay. Um, yeah, just toss that at me and toss it Wix4. I will make sure that that is resolved. And that code's not looking like that at all anymore in Wix4, in the new Wix4. Wix file search min version broken on system folder on Windows 10. Really? Okay. Well, broken. Version lying. Ah. This is the version line thing? Oh, this is the version line thing. Yep. Um, right. Is there any workaround to properly manifest the MSI? No. XE to populate the MSI property? Um, burn. Didn't we say that already? Yes, but burn doesn't change the behavior of the, one the a package. Right. Correct. Right. This yeah. is. Yeah. The answer is burn and to use burn searches because it will be correct. Yeah. I have some hope that a Microsoft engineer will maybe come across this issue too. Yeah, I wouldn't. Not in our bug <laughs> area. Anyway, the answer is burn. It's external issue. Also, it's worth noting, you know, Windows doesn't consider this a bug. No. Windows, Windows, many people in the Windows team, the official support, you know, the official story is don't use version checking. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. Yeah, actually tell you what you're supposed to do instead, but... The fix is external. And if he wants to work around yeah. to the issue, he can use burn. Yep. Or anything else like burn. Um, all right. Lit fails to process localization variables in source attributes. Yeah, this I think that's bound kind of true. Yeah, I, th I think it is. So, I mean, the, the primary issue here is that Wix libs take in a loc taking loc files, plural, yep. for storage, not for processing. Yeah, but there's something in there that attempts to use the loc file to process um, the... Uh, like, yeah, I was in that true. code. There is a little bit of code in library that attempts to use variable. Well, maybe it's only bind variables. I don't know. It's trying... That it's word, not it, it passes it's null not for yeah. loc. Right. I, I was in this code a while ago, but not that long ago. Like, within the last year-ish. Um, and right, it it uses the binding. It does do binding for the bind variables, but it does not to account for the loc thing. And the issue being that the loc variable, the loc will be included into the Wixlib, not as right. an input to here. So yeah, this is just a limitation of. So this is expected, right yep. now, or this is known. Um, I don't know how we would fix it either, because no. Wixlibs. I mean, it would. It's one of those, yes, so to fix this, we would grab any file of all the loc files, we would loop through them all, store all those sources. It's like, no. <laughs> store well, all the source the, files. The problem is your, the, the design of the Wixel storage in the Wixlib is so, it, it, it's, it's treating the Wixlib as a container, right? Yep. And, and there's no, yeah, it, by design, you're going to have multiple, well, sorry. Um, the design is, to allow you to store multiple Wixel files that cover the same set of strings. Mm -hmm. So there's no way this can work in that scenario because you'd end up with, you know... Uh, so you have to include N files and associate each of them with a language such that when the, Wix, when the Wixlib got included back into a main MSI, the appropriate file from all those different files would be included. I mean, it's... Yeah, that's that sounds a little bit too much like magic. That's a lot of work. So, the answer is, yeah, no, that does not work. So, yes, no, this behavior is expected. I mean, ex 
But it's only a problem if you're doing bound work slips, right? Because uh, correct. If you don't do bound wick slips, then the correct the thing will happen. Yes, right. that is true. That's how wix you out works. Yes. So this is only a problem if you want to bind them. How does Wix UI work? Because it doesn't. We don't localize a file. Uh, we have to. Well, we have the EULA, like this person does. Yeah, but our EULAs. Isn't it just something that says, hey, replace this? Or, you know, MSRL? I don't think we localize it. Well, we do, but this is the. You know, we use the. Uh, a bind time variable for letting you plug in your own RTF file. Yes, that's what we do. All right. So yeah. we do not include many versions of the license no. file in the bound. Okay, good. No. I was like, I don't think we're doing anything special here. We do allow you to no. use a bind variable to override what we put into the Wix lib. Correct. Yes, that. So the net result is, yeah, we're in, this is, yeah. The, I appreciate that from the outside looking in, you're like, yeah, this should just work. I would expect that to work. And the answer is, yeah, no, it doesn't for all these complicated reasons. Right. Um, so, no. Um, and if they would like to think through all of the complications on how to implement it, we could talk about that. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to be simple. And is this a scroll bar? Why can't I not scroll? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it's a picture. This is a picture. No. Oh, okay. It's a scroll bar. And on Firefox, it's an actual <laughs> scroll bar. So they gave up on IE and creating scroll bars. That's awesome. I love it. All right. Fine. I found my first thing where IE doesn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. I appreciate that you could see, you could expect this to work, and it's more complicated why it doesn't work. The, well, the problem is that lit with creating a bound Wix lib is an awful lot like light. And the switches, the, the look, dash look switch for light is the same as the dash look switch for lit, but when you're binding, it does something very different. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Yeah, that's not. Anyway. Pre process variable crashes Visual Studio. Really? Crashes all of Visual Studio? That's impressive. Visual Studio crashes. Uh, I'm not a fan of the word crash. Having worked on the flight simulator team, a crash can be a good thing. Um, <laughs> but I'm also people sometimes, you know, say the word crash when it's, you know, yep. an error anyway, message. Or I an think exception. there's an, there's already an issue that tracks this. There's a problem with MS build variables and passing through this thing. It's a real pain. There, <laughs> it's a real pain because like Visual Studio, one time I saw this looked at was like interprets this, so you have to like mm -hmm. escape it. But then if you escape it, then MS build won't interpret it on the other side. And it's just like this cache 22 of yeah, you can't do that um, in there. Mm. I'll see if I can find the dupe. Yeah, so anyway, this is this is not news. The crash is news, though. It's like, wow, yeah. the studio like, lets us crash it? That's awesome. Uh, this is unfortunate. I read through this one. So this is, if you're elevated and you do a layout switch, then we use the system temp folder, which makes sense. Um, but then the user can't get the file out of there. Oh, and the file still have the permissions that are inherited from that. So even if we move it to the layout directory, we still have bad ACLs. So we have to reset the ACLs or something. Mm -hmm. Because the user launched it from an elevated command prompt. Yeah. Server. Sure. Right. Um... So uh, we should probably fix this at some point. <laughs> um, the UN user is not an administrator. Doesn't burn try to de-elevate? No, we do not try to de-elevate. That code doesn't work <laughs> in various edge cases or not edge in various cases that code does not work so burn will not de elevate um so yeah i guess we could what <laughs> yeah part of this is don't do that i guess right now 
There's a workaround, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it should work at some point. So, yeah. Mm. Put out there. I, I, yeah. Uh, the security things create so many little problems. I'm trying to work around some nasty problems. Funny how that works. Mm -hmm. it's so annoying. I don't know where to put this. Burn. Yeah, but before. I, I, this isn't a security problem. I mean, sure, it's not. It, it's a, it's a consequence of the of the. It's a regression, and it's yeah. a consequence of a security fix. But it is not itself a security vulnerability. No. So, I, I'm not going to in any way suggest we, you know, do a 3.11.2. No, but do we fix it 3.14 or not? <sighs> Sean you know, is conspicuously quiet. Take off getting his air conditioning fixed. <laughs> or, you know, doesn't no, want to speak I'm, up. Uh, I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> See, because he knows what happens when, when you, you know, have an opinion. Uh, I, I, I'm... Life was much simpler when 314 was simply about Wix 4 compatibility. Put in 4. I... If that. someone really wants to do all the work to bring it back and stuff like that, they they can do that. But I mean, let's put it in 4x and be like, yeah, that should get fixed. The workaround straightforward. If they want it fixed, they could do it. I I have a real hard time getting excited about this problem. I, I agree. Although, yeah, the fix might be simple enough. Sorry, this wasn't the. <laughs> I I the problem is we've already started taking stuff into 314. I know. So. You know, that's good and bad. You know, the problem from that, the biggest issue from that is, you know, well, 4 isn't out yet, so you have to keep fixing stuff and, yeah, like, well, have to is pretty strong language. Um, and I, I'm, I'm... So here's the thing. We'll put it in 4. If someone does all the work to nicely bring it over to 314, it'll probably be hard to say no to it. Like, they do all the work. I, I, I would say that, given the regression status. Okay. I'm not going to put it there to start, and all that, and I'm not in a hurry to go do this. Like, Sean, I'm like, yeah, a hard time getting, you know, excited for this thing. So, there. That's what it is. Okay. Someone does all the work to bring it over nice and clean and all that, rebased appropriately, and so on and so forth. Fine. All right. It's one of those that I would probably be exactly what you said. Let in 314. You're like, Rob, you're not holding the hard line. I'm like, no, I'm not holding the hard line. So. Yeah, we stopped holding the hard line, which is... Yeah, yeah. the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> we have to go faster, and we're not doing that right now. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fundamental problem. Uh, yeah. There's a documentation issue. This, but that preserved modified date is also not allowed. Okay, cool. Good to know. That's all we could go fix a doc. I agree. It'd be great to have it fixed. Agreed. Yay! I think we're done with triage. Yep. Things other people want to talk about. I have a couple updates if people don't have anything they want to toss on the top of the agenda. I have something, but it can come after yours. All right. Uh, first, uh, we mentioned, I think it was even last meeting, the, about the um, app deploy changing the way they're going to be processing NuGet feeds, and that would impact what we're doing in Wix 4. Vare. Sorry, app Vare. What did I say? App deploy. App de I don't know what that is. App Vare. Um, app Vare uh, has changed. It was changing the way of doing retention for the NuGet feeds, and which is where we upload a lot of our Wix 4 stuff for internal dev sharing between builds. Um, they have since decided to keep maintain retention on NuGet feeds for NuGet packages, which is perfect. That's exactly what we're using it for. So we're out of the woods on that. So all that discussion we had last week uh, doesn't look like it'll be a problem, although I'm happy to have had that discussion in case they change their mind. Um, and so we will wait and see, but at this point in time, there's no major um, thing to worry about. Uh, second, I wanted to go...
Nautilus page, I've been thinking about the weekly build thing. I know it's an old thread that I just kind of let sit for a while. And what if I just called it latest builds? Like, is that, would that work? And keep the disclaimer, because like we have this game. Because like, these have the latest bug fixes, may introduce new bugs you didn't expect, and generally these are not considered production ready. If you're assuming you can find them here. And just call them latest builds. They're not production, they're just the latest build. Does that work? It's, it sounds fine to me. Uh, the only issue, we just have to make sure that they're actually the latest. Um, we, in the past, we've had weekly builds that were promoted. Yeah, we shipped them. Um, and they were, they, they suck around. So they're no longer the latest. They kind of are, but they're not, indistingu they're not distinguishable from the recommended builds. Um, it's just, you know, we just have to make sure that we, you know, clean them up. I think that I think otherwise works fine. I think it does that automatically for us now because it only keeps like the last five or something. Well, except when things roll off. Things stop rolling off, like for example, when, you know, we don't have, because we don't do weekly builds anymore, stuff sticks around, right? You know, we have something coming up on 11 months old. So, um, you know, at a certain point, it's like, okay, well, 314 RTMs, we should probably remove all 3X from this. Yeah, oh, look at this. This weird sorting here. I never noticed this before. It's all, it's oh, sorted, sorted by sorted date. By date, yeah. All right, and then we did, oh, 10, 4, 11, oh, good grief. Right? When did we do a 310 4? <laughs> oh my god. Same time we did 311 1. We were entirely too nice. No wonder we're not getting anything done. Um, <laughs> do we not rebuild with signing when we want to RTM? No. No. Any of these builds are the same as any production build except what we've declared them to be. Um, it's been a while. We, we used to do have to do something special for signing, but. Yeah, yeah, that's all sorted now. Um, all right, well, then I still don't have a good answer. I'm fine with, with the name change, because weekly is clearly incorrect. Yeah, weekly is now wrong, right? We're just not running yeah. it that way anymore. Um, yep. So, all right, I'll keep thinking about it. Do not have an easy answer. All right, so that was my two things. At Bear, Nougat, policy shift in our, in our favor, and still don't know what to call builds other than not to call them weekly builds. Uh, you had something, Bob? Uh, yeah, a couple meetings ago we talked about um, a potential new BA uh, to handle internal UI on MSI packages better. Right. Um, I think it was after it was the post post meeting after the report. <sighs> so lovely. Um, well, you know, Wix after dark. <laughs> the I, I started to write up the whip for that. Very exciting. Yes. Um, however, one issue that we talked about was to have the BA uh, inform a to-be-determined Wix UI change to better handle the to ensure that you can't get out of sync, right? So, you know, disable repair or disable uninstall, rather. Um, but, you know, let change happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and we said the way we would do that is we could, I don't know, pass a property. Mm -hmm. Kind of glossed over that. The problem is today the BA cannot do that. Um, so this is... The BA it, cannot pass a property... Correct. Change. Can't pass property at all. The only way to do that is by declaring it with an MSI property element. <laughs> we can set a variable. We can set a variable, but it won't get to the MSI without an MSI property element. Of course, that yeah. final mile or inch or whatever. <laughs> exactly. I thought burn would be the one that just passes like a hard-coded 
property. Like if the BA says, I got this, I'm going to show internal UI. I think that's what Then Bob's burn gonna... was just going to pass the property. Yeah, and Bob's clarifying whether that's what we want to do or not. Well, yeah. We explicitly said that the BA would do it. Um, yeah, we did. The goal being to get all of internal UI stuff out of the engine, um, or at least that's why you know, we contemplated someone would be willing to do the work because they want that purity. Um, but we were adding a callback for one of For them. internal UI, yeah. For internal UI. And so then I think what Sean is saying that along with that callback, it would have to get tied to a property as well. So there has to be two things, not one thing, not just the callback to get display and turn UI out, but also that callback sets a property to the MSI in question. So you get a magic property, the way that we handle like reboot for you and things like that. I don't know how else to do it. Well, where I got to was well, we could let the BA specify MSI properties, and that made me kind of throw up a little bit in my mouth. So, um, unfortunately, your suggestion also makes me throw up a little bit in my mouth um, to have you know uh, hard coded stuff in burn for for this exact scenario. Um, it doesn't, you know, smell like it was. I don't have a better solution. Okay. Sean and I went to the same place at the same time, um, so I'm assuming he doesn't have a better idea up top of that. <laughs> um, <sighs> it's essentially the display internal UI feature, and with that feature, you get a callback and a property. That's the way that I look at it now. Like, right? If you enable display internal UI, we set these properties for you into the MSI internal UI and we uh, set a property. You know, Wix burn display eternal UI or whatever equals one. Um, I suppose if it were the actual UI level we were setting, we could maybe use that. But we need the action. I mean, that. The sorry, action. That, that's. Yeah, yeah. We need to know. Oh that, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the UI, the internal UI needs to know what is supposed to be happening so it can ensure that that thing continues to happen. You know what? Let me back up. I would be fine if there are up to uh, three properties tied to this that feed information to an MSI so that it can do good internal UI, or it can do whatever it can do. So it can do uh, appropriate things in its internal UI, right? If that's action, and if that's UI level, then that feels fine to me. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's basically so saying... It's the display internal UI feature. Because right now what we have is busted. And essentially what this is saying is like, what we provided with a yes, no is not enough here's what you have to do instead. It is more complicated than the original thing, but it actually works. You have to use all these parts. You need to use this callback to your BA, and you need to have your MSI UI tweaked to understand these new properties that you get. And then you can do the right thing. You can be successful with internal UI. Okay, so you're saying if, if uh, Burn says, if the BA has taken advantage of this new callback, I will then send these three new properties. However, for yeah. MSI package, whatever we need, right? Like, yeah, I don't yeah, want it to be ten. Yeah, yeah. My expectation is like <laughs> one or two, right? But if it's ten, something's gone awry. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good danger signal. Agreed. Okay, and, and that's why I kind of said three. I could see up to three, because I could see two now with the UI level and the action. You're like, yeah, okay, let's pass those. Yep. And it's stuff that Burn knows anyway that passing CMSI is useful, and 
I mean, I'd say we could pass the, you know, the action to MSIs all the time from burn, you know, the Wix burn action, except I don't think it's useful for any other cases. So, uh, you know, whatever. But if, you know, I haven't thought deeply about could that value be useful for the MSI in all cases. But I don't think it well, is. I think know. it's basically the same thing that the MSI UI figures out normally of Am I installed? Am I in maintenance mode? You know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure I want us always sending these properties. I don't I, think it I, would not be. Either. I don't think it'd be horrible. I mean, you know, assuming we pick something, you know, Wix burn UI level, Wix burn bundle action. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. Something somewhat namespaced. Um, I, I, let me put it this way. If someone could argue, I mean, if someone could put together the scenarios for that, I could be convinced, right? It's like, oh, okay, those scenarios are, yeah. you know, reasonable. They don't even have to be like rock solid. They could just be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I could see those being useful because it's not. I guess it's not complicated. It's not bad. They're namespaced in us. They shouldn't collide with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it generally provides value. Yay. And we solve the stupid display internal UI problem. That to me has value because we have people that want to use it, and right now it's busted. I'm willing to do a couple of these things. I guess that's where I'm at yep. still. Yep. I'm not willing to do the work, as I pointed out before, but I'm willing to see it solved. That would be great. Jacob's all upset. No, stop using this plan training. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm much closer to that approach then. Anyway. Okay. My all right. I, I, that, that's not as bad as, as I had first considered. Um, I agree. It's, it would be sufficient, I think, to pass it in. Now, the, the downside is I think now it's you know pretty much a requirement that we go in and update Weeks UI to actually do this so we can prove that it's you know, going to work. Um, yeah, but I thought that was always kind of part of it. I mean, well... Personally, I got kind of. I understand that a couple of you guys are trying to avoid that, but I think in the end you were probably going to have to do something. I also think it would be good to um, update the Wix UI. What does that mean? So that it respects these things if it's used in dis as display internal UI. Sorry, that's what I was talking about. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant Wix standard VA. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry. Well, no. I sorry. So the original. When when it was entirely controlled by the BA, then I I didn't care as much um, about you know who does what or you know how how difficult is it going to be to make this work because the BA is in complete control. Um, now we're talking about splitting it out a bit. It's like okay, well, um, the engine's going to still have to do something less gross than it does today, but still something. So I'm like, uh, okay, well maybe we should. You know, validate the assumptions a little bit more. Fair enough. I do not disagree. All right. Um, okay, that was it. That was it for me. I guess right. we have a solution. And did we keep Sean all the way to the end of the meeting? It's probably yep. a bad thing for Sean that he hasn't gone off and got his air conditioning fixed. Um, hopefully that all works out well for you, dude. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> Be in there sweating for a while. All right, I think we're good here. Um, another triage, another thing. Um, people don't know that Bob's actually making some progress on Wix four-ish stuff, so hopefully that'll show up. Um, mm -hmm. Drips and drabs. And Fixed the bug not too long ago. Yeah, and and. Um, I'm still plowing my way through my June work, and then after that I'll have a little more breathing room, although I have a backlog of stuff that I've been ignoring, so I'll get to that. But I'm actually like, oh, I'm looking forward to being out of this big, huge press of work that I've been doing going on. So. No, no, no progress on Wix for patching. <laughs> no. Patching is way down the line. Patching is always way down the line. Yeah, yeah, no. That's, that's not at all where it's at right now. I appreciate that Jacob always shows up and says, hey, how about this? <laughs> but, yeah. All right, he's typing.
saying, I'll wait a second. And then I think that's about it for today. Um, but, but, but if we have patching, then I can fix tests and whatnot. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. There will be plenty to do there in the not too distant future. Well, the good news is the, the, you know, the core tools are reasonably stable. Um, and the, the current uh, repo organization doesn't, you know, doesn't have anything to do with like the uh, the functionality, right? So patching is still part of Wix Toolset core, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it doesn't. It it's not <laughs> patching is just getting to that point, you know, down the priority stack. Um, unfortunately, there's the you know other stuff like that is impacted by the repo organization, reorganization, I should say. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it's, it's in there. We'll get to it. We will. We will, we will, we will. All right. On that note, uh, you all have a wonderful two weeks. We'll be back in a couple, and we'll do this all again. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.